I would do it all over again in a heartbeat. I would do the 5 a.m. mornings. Um, I just, over and over again every summer, just because it's just so important and amazing just to build these relationships and see them come out of something amazing. We're here at Gaffney High School. It's about 7.30, so we're getting ready for check-in. But my silver team and I got here at 5.30 this morning to start setting up for the camp day. Um, I'm on the rec crew, so each morning I go outside and I help set up each game that we'll be playing. And we do that from about 5.30 to 6.15. And then we transition into our skills, and I'm the archery instructor. So I have a team that will help me set up archery each morning with just the pennant flags and the dome cones and the targets. And then we have staff worship and some announcements from our leadership team and then we get ready for village training. So it's about 7.45 here at village training. Uh, there's some amazing games for the kids to play. We have tug of war and inflatable, people greeting the kids with different floaties and stuff. But I personally am in charge of the face painting with Anna and a volunteer usually. And we have red, blue, green, gray, and white face paint for the four villages just to give them some camp culture and help them have a great day showing their camp pride. now village training is over and the kids are all in their groups walking into wake up where we have just a bunch of hype songs one is the theme song and then just another one to get them dancing with each other with us going crazy screaming to get excited for the day of camp um, and in cpk our camp pastor we'll talk about the truth of today and today is no matter what god is always good Just getting to be around 28 other people or 27 other people that love God, the way I love God, it just sounded so refreshing to get to do that all summer and then also just pour into these kids, um, which is something I potentially want to do. And just seeing, even if it's just one camper come to Christ, like that just, I don't know, it just makes the running 15 miles a day just that much worth it. So I just, I heard from Mo Bomer um, and it just, I prayed about it and I just felt like God was definitely leading me here. So it's about 9.10. We just finished our wake up and we're going out to Connect Creation. What we do to start Connect Creation is we have a cheer off between all four villages. And then Jimmy, our rec director, will stand up on the box. Then after that, we will go and play the games that we have set up. And we are playing coconut ball, which is the dodge ball. And then we have hoop hop showdown, which is rock, paper, scissors. And the kids have been split up um, by team time. And we each team time leader gets a number. And that's the number flag we will go to if so we are split up. It's 10-10. Uh, we just finished the ultimate cleanup challenge for REC, ate our icy juices, and now we are coming to team time number one. This is where we have our small groups and we spend time just diving into the word and going over how God is good. So we have a game called Ask, Seek, and Knock where it just really teaches the kids um, to knock on God's door and pray and ask and he will always be good and provide for them. And so we, the leaders, will share a personal story that will be kind of leading up into team time number two. One thing is just keeping an eye out for the ones that maybe are by themselves. 
uh, because I have my kids and maybe my kids are all in line, straight line, what we're doing, like what we're supposed to be doing, but there's one kid over there and even if it's not mine, even if that's not my camper, um, God would do the same, like just pouring out God's love into every person that we pass. So in life, if I have my friends and me and my friends are great, but I see someone over there, like I can just pull them in and really try to engage them uh, because everyone just needs that love because some people really don't get that at home. So we just finished team time. It is about 9.40 and we are going to Town Square. This is where we meet up at our Village Flags and have a cheer off before all the campers go to their skill flag to find their leaders to head off. It's 11 o'clock, we're in skill number one. So we have a lot of kids that signed up for archery since it's a big camp, so we're split into archery A, which is shooting first, and archery B will be over on the side playing a mini game. But while this is going on, you can see there's splish splash, flag football, yard games, and a ton of other games inside while we're doing our skills, and we'll be here for about an hour. Everything about Windshape is unprecedented, um, just because of that we're really, we're a family, we're a big team, and it's not about ourselves, and so, in the world we're on God's team, that's how I view it, is it's not myself, I'm, it's about God's team. And so with helping, I can just, if I see something's messed up, I go and try to fix it to the best I can, or if someone's really struggling, I can just try to reach out to them and pour into them as much as possible. This could start a kid's life of just really opening up and just knowing that God loves me, so that's what matters. God is personal with me, He's good. He's gonna be there, He's gonna be my foundation. And so just seeing them open up and then maybe Wednesday or Tuesday or Thursday, they start raising their hand and they share those hard stories. And it, it's hard for us. Um, there's times that I've gone back to the hotel and I've cried about it because it's just a lot. It's heavy on my heart. So it's 12.30, we just finished lunch, and now we are going to worship. So this is where CPK will talk about the message and just elaborate what we talked about during teen time number one. And they'll sing worship songs, two at the beginning, one at the end, and they'll have a skit kind of explaining how God is a never-changing rock. That there's these kids, I'm in fourth and fifth grade, and like they are so young and they've been through so much that kids should not have to go through. But then they tell me, they're like, you know what, but it's okay because God is my rock and I know that He will help me get through it because I'm here today and just, they, they really mature. Um, and it's just so just seeing those kids grow, I'm turning them now, sorry. <laughs> it's just seeing those kids grow and I just, I don't know, I feel like we're saving lives. Here, I mean, it is camp and it is fun and we do our cheers and the crazy dance moves and our accents during skills, but at the end of the day, it comes down to what we do in team time and it's just, I don't know, just saving those kids' lives that are on scholarship here at camp and they would never hear the word of Jesus otherwise. It's just so special to me and my whole team and everyone in good shape. It's just, that's what makes it worth it. I, I would give up my summer again. I don't regret not going on my family vacation, not seeing my friends not getting to play softball this summer. I would do it all over again in a heartbeat. I would do the 5 a.m. mornings. Um, I just, over and over again every summer just because it's just so important and amazing just to build these relationships and see them come out of something amazing and blossom. <laughs> yeah. It's 420, the kids are about to come into Power Surge. This is our last final hype session of the day. We're really just gonna wrap up what we've been talking, get the kids' last energy up before they go home, and just emphasize that no matter what, God is never changing.